Terry, I was like, I'm either going to quit this game or I play Terry now. And guess what? I, I went and played Terry. So. Seems like it's pretty go, good. Goes pretty good, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, quick correction. I'm just yeah. Uh, King Lee Dome is ranked. He is ranked. All right, yeah. I misspoke. I was going to say he's either not ranked or like he's like the fi in the 15 to 20 range, but I actually think he might be in like the. Javi, do you know off the top of your head? What what his number is? He's been picking up tags for a minute. Yeah, he has. From what I'm seeing, 16. 16, yeah, he was at 15 as well. Sounds about right. And oh, the quasi former villager main in me has a smile on his face. Yeah, this is going to be Ant and not Joel. Man. Not Joel from uh, DCG. Coming out from the 818 area. I'm pretty confident I played not Joel earlier. Oh, I'm sure. Like, on, like in, online? On yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> he was probably, he was probably on Wi-Fi trying to warm up with his bracket. It wasn't my best game. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, not Joel. He's got some experience on his hand. He has been around uh, and playing Link since Smash for as far as I know, maybe even longer than that. This is the grab there, bowling ball, quicker than you might theorize. And on the other hand, also a player who has been playing Villager since Smash 4. So we got definitely experience on both hands here. I love the recovery from Ant right there, delaying it a little bit, stalling to avoid the edge guard. Really good presence of mind from Ant. Yeah, Vill Villager's return to stage is an absolute fight. Get your balloon shot, your, your hose there. And really just throwing out some options to keep himself in, in his first stock intact. There's a roll from Joel. Perry on the boomerang, trying to keep him honest. Interesting, I, I don't think I've seen not Joel pull out a bump. Oh, up. All right, spoke too soon. There it is. Interesting, but he did, threw it in the other direction. In the butterfly. Oh, net. that. Okay. Oh! That was really, really difficult for um, Not Joel. There wasn't too much he could do. That forward smash had covered the recovery. Not Joel avoided that, but because of it, felt like he needed to pick an option soon, and he immediately ran into the tree. If he had hang hung out to the ledge a little bit longer, right. he probably would have survived. That's the paradox. It's like I either hang out on this ledge and eat a bowling ball, or I roll and hope this tree doesn't pop out. Oh, it does. He doesn't want a new stop. We are two for two right now, even stocks, and a slight percent lead for Ant. Down so just misses from Joel, drops in. The Lloyd Rockets have definitely been stalling a lot of position. You can see Joel's been looking for it. Dash attack comes through from Ant. Slingshot covers the return to the stage. The positioning right now from Ant is pretty on point. Still maintaining this lead right here, 106 to 57. He goes for that up smash, <laughs> recognizing that not Joel was going to jump over it. It was a really good, uh, really good read, just a little bit misplaced. Opportunities on the table there. The moment Joel sunk down that far off the down, I thought that bowling ball was already Ooh, there. In charge, but but it's back on, lands a forward air. Hello to your third stop. With the very, very tip of the sword as well. Not. It doesn't have a tipper mechanic, so it didn't actually matter, but it's just like the spacing was just that good. Right now, zoner v zoner. Projectile battle, by the way. See Joel using the shield. Oh, there's that stock. Air touching we do. right into the forward smash, the bowling ball landing right on his head. 7 split out here. Sapling. And you know, Haloran, with the exception of that one time where I mentioned it, he still hasn't pulled out very many bombs. That's Link's new toy, man. Like, that's what well, they all wanted to see. One of the funnest things to do as a villager is to pocket the grenade uh, and then see them try to break it out, and then they just... Oh! Hello? Oh. You can't yeah. get caught lollygagging off the stage in this villager. You look up, there's going to be a 17 split. Again, there was just not too much that he could... Uh, do in that situation. I mean, he he didn't decide to go for the early up B because he thought, if I go for up B, I'm going to run right into that bowling ball. But sure enough, it's like, you needed to drift back a little right. bit or something. He still ran into that bowling ball anyways. But, uh, Link just doesn't have the air drift to, to shake up the recovery too much. Yeah. As long as you keep your eye on the ball, and you're going to get that angle with the bowling ball. Yeah. So, and goes up. One game in the best of three. Game number two, moving it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. And I, I really like that you pointed out 
that, you know, there's a reason why not Joel is not using too many bombs. He's, it's probably not worth it in this matchup because he takes it away once and you can't pull out a second one as you could with the previous links in uh, other Smash games. As far as muscle memory and stuff goes, oh, that's oh. a him, but it gets back on. Cheeky moment. It's like, yeah, you may as well not even, like, try to implement that in your game plan if it can get negated. Uh, he might be saving it towards the back end just to kind of force out the pocket and yeah. gain advantage down the road. Maybe Joel just doesn't really use the bomb. Yeah, that's another possibility for sure. Oh, boop. Forward smash, gets punished. I mean, it is a very good out of shield option, the hero spin. However, it is also very laggy. As soon as you block that first hit, you're able, he is completely vulnerable. And looking for the setup on top of the down to Villager Man, and he says if that was a down smash and then a bowling ball, it was Joel probably being oh, like a stock. That's but cheeky. Man, get caught. The villager both on the platforms. Drop down forward air. Joel's a sniper. Yeah, so far, Joel doing a really good job with these forward airs by the ledge. Look at that ledge back. That's Joel, this movement. That's a pocketed boomerang. We got a down throw, no connection off with the F to or oh, yep. a, What a setup! Oh, oh and I'm a fan. Yeah. The boomerang comes back and sets up the up smash. Galaxy Brain. Yeah, using using your opponent's tools to your own advantage. That's a mark of a great player right there. And the mark of a player who knows what they're doing as Ant does. Nice parry there from Joel. Switch about him and looking for a parry himself. Fades away, misses the slingshot. Lloyd slowing down the advance. These bounce backs on the boomerangs are uh, really giving Ant some problems here in New York. You can see Ant is uh, resorting right more to a uh, slower neutral, definitely playing more defensive using Villager to his advantage. Oh, no. Not Joel, not like oh, that. No. He got baited. He got baited, dude. Ant, was, dude. Ant had the biggest brain play of his entire life just now, dude. He said, I'm going to float off stage, use these balloons. You're going to try to hit me, and it's not going to work. Check this kid's cranium. <laughs> Above the average IQ. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He gets it back on. Uh, great tech from Ant as well. Oh, well then kill percentage. Joel's got some work cut out for him, but he, but he very well could show up to game number three. It's the up tilt. Only 25% down. He gets the right setup. Matching that and taking a lead. Yeah, he can definitely make this percent up with a single interaction, but he's gonna need to find that opening. And it's difficult when you have a villager who has such great zoning tools. He has a pocket. He can pocket his Link's projectiles, and he has a Lloyd Rocket, a lingering hitbox that travels across the stage and forces a reaction. You jump over that Lloyd Rocket, you get hit by a fair, you get hit by a bear. Like, one of the different. easiest things to forget is that the bowling ball can find you off the platform as well. We just saw yep. Ant playing that, Tree planted there at the ledge. You know, Joel is thrown off the side. That's going to be a cheeky moment. Boy Rocket connects. Axe is going to be available. Looking to ask the question. Nice. Okay. Hardly sick it off. Catch this boomerang. Oh, really close game right here. Ant in the danger zone. 115 right now. Uh-oh. Got the boomerang there's in a, There's a grenade. Boomerang popped in. Last time this came back, that was a stock. He actually held onto the shield. A lot of times you can actually set up some grab traps with the villager. If they're, like, shielding and suspending a Lloyd Rocket or a projectile like that, you got the butterfly net. Yeah. That. Oftentimes you actually have to go for grab traps, as you mentioned. The villager's grab isn't one like of right the quickest. It's, it's pretty slow, comparatively. So. That would have been a free grab. Joel jumps over the Next, Lloyd Rocket neutral there gets him off to the side. <laughs> Up smash, lingering hitbox. Not enough to take the game, though. Just barely. The tree is out on the field. Get up the neutral a little bit. Yeah, the bombs are coming out a lot more now. I think he really was yeah. trying to save it for the back end of the, the set when he really needed it. Up throw, he DIVs. There it Hang is, on man. And it's it's at that point, it's like, what do you, like, what do, you do? Like, he hasn't been using this resource all set long, and suddenly you have this whole new strategy that you have to deal with, a whole other game plan that you have to circumvent, and you have to do it on the spot in tournament. I, I like to call it passive conditioning. When you have like these, you know, aces up your sleeve. It's like you don't want to break them out. Stock one at game one. Sure. You kind of want to 
make people think your tendencies and patterns don't include this aspect at all. And he just kind of put Ant in a weird position where, yeah, he could have theoretically pocketed that grenade, but he had to be ready for it. Yeah. If he was slacking at all, it's exploding in his face, and he's finding out what Joel's bands are. Sure enough. And Haloran, we have game three on our hands. I'm excited to see it. Really interesting matchup between these two projectile zoners. Not Joel and Ant. Who's going to take it? Game number three on Battle. I'm glad that you mentioned that these are Zoner characters because Joel and Ant are not playing them like that. They have no oh, yeah. aversion to getting in each other's faces. Oh, 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 uh, oh, 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 he actually. He saved him. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Ant trying to MacGyver his way back to the stage. A grenade blows him up. Still hanging on to the first stock. Jukes the grab. Comes back off the boomerang. That was pocketed. Neutral air falls in. Sets up the grab off the grenade. Yeah. It's coming out for real oh, now. Yeah. Game three. And that's what I'm saying. It's really throwing Ant for a loop now. He he's has to deal with this whole other thing that he wasn't quite like. It's it's he has to adapt a lot quicker. Is what I'm trying to say. Under one of the biggest strengths of Link. It's just there's so many different offbeat things that can come at you. The boomerang has a certain timing. Grenade has it infinitely variable timing. Arrow comes out as well. Yeah. So there's a lot to just throw you off guard. Especially the boomerang too, because not, not only is it a timing thing, but it's like, what angle is it coming out of? Really great recovery with the drift uh, back and going high. Not Joel, just, uh, you know, not gonna get hit by too many more of those bowling balls. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, what a recovery! You'll love to see it. He's gonna get grabbed, back throw, not gonna be it. We're seeing some high level. Oh, <laughs> he's still alive? <laughs> Yo, Nacho's a god! What a guy. He is out here for real. 175% standing strong. 175 and yet to give up this stock. Ant is somewhat fishing at this point. Dude, every other Link player that I know would be on their second stock right now. Yes. Sure. Oh, okay. Any stray hit now is going to be the end of Nacho's stock. And there's the up air, Ant moving up. 141 though, it's not too much longer before he loses the stock himself. There it is, the forward air landing on him, getting that get up, and taking the stock. Yeah, that forward air has been an absolute workhorse, so it's best of three for Joel. We're gonna set up with the boomerang, trying to wade its way in, using the neutral air. Solid option for Link to say the least. There's the jab, forward air string, let's go for a ride. Literally, actually, as he rides <laughs> inside me. Oh yeah, man, love to see it. I love when villagers like go across the entire stage. It's like, well, I'm already on it. Right. I might as well take it for the entire thing. It's the grab. What's the read? What's the roll in? Oh, oh I'm not gonna get punished off that missed up smash. Gets the grab, down tilt, and the kicks. Yeah, we got a very, very even game between these two right now. That Nair setting up to into the tech chase. Dash tech not gonna connect. Not Joel very intelligently rolling in. It's been pocketing these boomerangs and throwing them out pretty much immediately. That time is going to help. Oh, what? Whoa, the timing. I mean, he's the goat. oh, great. Two frames off Nepple ball yeah. tag and directly in the face. <laughs> 98 to 84 right Yoink. here. The pivot grab, getting the back throw, and uh, no edge guard for. Joel had to do that. Ant, yeah. That tree was there waiting for him. And, sure. and the, the remote bomb recovery is proving to be so useful in this matchup, especially because he can explode himself directly back onto the stage as opposed to running into that tree or falling into that bowling ball. On paper, you would think that would be a very Ooh. reliable recovery. Joel is pretty much frame perfect yeah. accurate with that time and time again. Catches the bowling ball, put on his last stop, and looking for extra credit here at 136. Looks like the arrow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's got his double jump. Wow, with the final hit, if he, he was gets a little the more stock. patient, he was getting back to the ledge. Absolutely. That is huge for Joel. Yeah, I mean, not Joel. I mean, it wasn't like he intentionally went for that stock. He pretty much, he really had to just up B in that moment. Oh, but he gets the stock. We absolutely want to take it. Calculated. 32% <laughs> lead right now. Those are looking to close this out. Gets the roll in. Back into the neutral there connects. 32 to 18, anyone's game. There's an air dodge, sets up the jab, to the right hand left. Uh oh. All right, you can see the ledge trapping starting to come out. The bears by the ledge to wall him out. 
Yeah, look at the way look he's covering the his options. Look at Joel's veins right now. A lesser player would have been rolling in, trying to get away from the tree. Hey, it's ready. After that first time, he was like, no more. I know what, my, what I must do. Oh. Check this out. Neutral air, setting up the edge guard. What's your option for it? So just a frame off. Uh oh my what? god, the shield! What? Wait, huh? hello? hello? What the hell happened? Sakurai. Yeah, it's, please fix this game. I'm seeing drop jaws what over the at hell? the setup. <laughs> dude, literally the entire <laughs> audience was like, what the hell? Dude, that was Ant's game. He got kind of robbed. Joel just <laughs> opts out of the shield break. He's like, oh, no, I actually yeah, feel I like still playing. That. <laughs> Alright, Joel kicks the field goal with the villagers face, dives down oh deep, see you on the other side. Tosses the bomb across the stage. Uh oh, there's the fair. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. He messed up. He threw a boomerang instead of pulling the bomb Dude. that he wanted. I hope we got a clip of that. I, I need oh. I need oh. to understand I, how Joel I, I, just I, I need decided. to receive that. We need to implement a replay feature here. That man, he, we he, needed that yesterday. He just decided not what? to have it, not to be stunned by the shield break. He's like, ah, no, I'm good. like I guess he landed right on the edge and just kind of teetered off. Like I don't know. I th that I think 